G'day. A friend of mine has a lathe like mine and he has to use 6061 alloy in aluminium to make the parts that he uses. I don't like 6061 because it does this. And when you bag it, you put it in a bag and the bag's full but it weighs nothing. When you do that with 2011 machining grade, the bag's full and you can't lift it up. This stuff just sticks to itself, it's terrible. Here I'm making the test pieces in uh, the manual lathe. Just turning the skin off. I don't know why, but I, I, I feel that the skin tends to be harder on the aluminium than if you just get below the skin. So for this test I wanted to get below the skin. Here we're taking a 2mm deep cut at 0.05 feed per rev just two cuts in this because we're only going down four millimeters you can see it's fairly nasty stuff invariably gets caught around the chuck and the part makes a horrible mess and you can see the damage on the surface finish there from the swarf this is a one mil cut at 0.1 feed per rev. Now when this was finished I couldn't find the chips because they were actually breaking. I found I was actually walking on them because they'd been thrown all over the place. They're still nasty chips but at least they're not those long continuous springs and you can see there's no damage to the surface there. Here I was doing a very shallow cut with a 0.2 feed and I thought it would work but it doesn't. Maybe it's too shallow for any chip breaking effect from the insert because we're right on the nose of the insert. It's a 0.4 radius so we're virtually only using the nose to do the cutting and that's making quite long horrible springs of swarf but it is clearing away from the part and the chuck and there's no damage on the part again here's a shot of the swarf you can see I, I could only find a few bits of the uh, 1 by 0.1 feed chips as I say because they were all over the place the others were easy to find, they were hanging all over the lathe. Here I'm doing another round of parts with a 1.34 depth of cut by 0.08 feed and you can see there that it's breaking chips too. I just wanted to try some variations. In the 4mm this is 3 cuts to get down to the diameter. And this is 0 0.8 by 0 0.12 and it's also breaking the chips. You can see them flying around all over the place there. When I make a video it gets very messy. Swarf gets everywhere. So that was five cuts. Now I just took this with my phone handheld, but you can see the chips breaking there. And that's where the chips went in the tray, and on the floor, and on the bench, and everywhere else. They look okay, but they're terrible, they stick together. If you put your hand in a bag of these chips and you grab a handful and pull it up, virtually the whole bag will come up in your hand. So, that was that experiment. Thank you for watching.